In order to start your adventure on the Mistlands, you will have to craft a Wisp Fountain, which you can find on the crafting on here. And it says 10 stone, 1 spirit and a stone cutter. And the torn spirit is dropped by Yaglut. It's the Yaglut thing. So you craft that and now what you have to do is wait by the fountain or nearby when it's night. Because the wisps will come and you need to catch one of those. And he's there. Now you grow close to this wisp fountain and you want to pick it up. Nice, there we go. Now you want to find your crafting table and you want to craft a wisp light, which is one wisp, which you just caught, and a silver. And you want to craft that. As you can see in front of me, there's a mistland biome, but well, there's actual mist and I can't see anything if I go inside, which we'll pretty soon find out. So there's not a lot going on right you don't really see much but if i equip the wisp light that we just crafted you can see that it evolves a little bit you can actually start to see some things on the biome which well it actually makes a lot of difference for you to find out where the enemies are and where they are coming and what do you need to find here what is very important about these mines is that you have some stuff to explore so I'm gonna go along the way, I'm gonna just explore, explore, explore and you wanna be careful with these walls that have these letters, these blue letters because these are hidden doors. You press E, you open that and you get into this kind of secret room which is where you'll find the black core which is a really important item here forward. You can also open a chest and you'll have coins inside, it's pretty straightforward and no, you cannot craft these chests. You can also find these old Dvorak gates which will lead to more places and there's one extra thing that we want to find on this biome or actually on this dungeon which is here which is the Vexivir of the Queen which is the boss of the Mistland. So these are the important stuff that we have to grab here. No, actually there's one more. Let me just go find it. And there we go. That was pretty lucky. So you want to find room like this. It has some black cores, but most importantly, it has like these things on a glass. If I can come on top. Thank you. So you want to use the black metal pickaxe. And yes, it has to be the black metal pickaxe to break it. And you'll get seal breaker fragment. And you'll need nine of this. And why do you need nine of this? You need nine of this because this is combined will make an item that will spawn the boss. Other important item is this Yggdrasil shoot, which you have to cut down because this will give you a different type of tree that you didn't have or so to speak, not a tree but a wood. So let me just finish here. And once you break it, you will have some Yggdrasil wood and some normal wood, but mainly the Yggdrasil is what you want. If you find these kind of black things which pretty much all dungeons and all dwarfs are made of this you definitely want to bring a stone cutter and break this because this will give you black marble which you also will need to continue your adventure you can find the npcs the dverg they are mages some of them are actually archers and as you can see they are not attacking me i do have god's ghost mod off but they are attacking the seeker soldier because well they don't really like them here but they will do nothing to you unless you do something which is almost like expected which is get inside and so far so good you don't really have to worry about anything but as soon as you get on top of the stairs you'll have to grab a couple of stuff so this is the dwerk component crate you definitely want to break this because you need the loot which is the dwerk extractor and now you want to break these crates because they have an item inside that you really need to have access to the magic, which is the soft tissue. And also keep in mind that if you kill them, they will also drop soft tissue. So yeah, if you manage to do that, it's going to be really, really much better for you because of the soft tissue. So let me just get outside. They are not really attacking me because they are worried about the seeker soldier. But I think as soon as they are done with them, I'm going to be the next target. And you can already see that this is already shooting at me. So definitely you want to be careful with these guys they do massive damage now that we got the Grasil wood the black metal and the Dvorak extractor you can craft one of these things you need a workbench of course on top of the ancient roots and what this will do will be quite interesting as you see here i already have placed three of these and i can collect some sap 
which is pretty cool and this item will be very important for the next thing. Now we need to craft this refinery which requires 20 black marble, 5 black metal, 10 yggdrasil wood, 5 black cores and the sap. So craft that, pretty easy. You wanna go here and add sap which is pretty much the fuel, right? You add as much as you have, 15 was the max and here on top you have to add the soft tissue. I have 21, I'm gonna add a couple of these, there we go, see, I have only one now and this will do is sting. There we go, you grab this and it's called refine hatred. This is very important because as you see it's unlocking new weapons and a new station which you now just want to have to go inside of your home. Grab the hammer and this is the calder table which is pretty much how you access magic stuff. You also have the room table, by the way you craft this with 5 black cores, 5 refined hate. Yggdrasil wood and 10 black metal and for the rune table which is the improvement you need 10 refined eight Yggdrasil wood and 10 black metal and there we go with that done you can also make the new forge which is called the black forge you need 10 black marble and five black cores and for the improvement you need five iron five copper and four marble and that is also complete on the Black Forge, you'll be able to craft everything that you have discovered, of course, in the Mistland. So every weapon made of the drops of the Mistland will be found here. Shields, weapons, you whatever you want to do, you name it, will be here. And if you want to do magic stuff, it's going to be on this table. You open up, you have the armor, you have the feather cape, which actually helps you not take fall damage, which is a pretty good deal, all things considered. And you also have the staffs that they are very cool, which is exactly what I'm going to show you next. But before, the seal breaker is the item that you need to spawn the boss. And you can craft it here with the nine seal breaker fragments. As far as magic goes, you already know that you can craft everything, but the issue is, it still says that I need the 8, so how the hell do I get that? And that's pretty much using the Seeker Aspic and the Yggdrasil Porridge, and then you can mix some other food, or if you find more food that gives you uh, the same mana pool, because that's pretty much what this is, it's mana. Yeah, so that's what happens. You end up being a wizard and you are sacrificing health and stamina for mana pool, which is the eighth that you find on this food. So that's a pretty cool detail. Now the fire stuff will consume the mana pool and it will throw fireballs at whatever you're aiming at. The animation seems to be pretty cool and I really enjoy to see the overall effects and the details are pretty nice. Then we have the stuff of frost and this one is like a minigun. It's just gonna just everything it's pretty cool it does consume a lot of mana pool as well so you have to be careful with that because you are kind of useful useless if you really well i run out of mana the stuff of protection will consume a lot of your mana but in return will give you a magic barrier that lasts one minute that will completely block an attack in coming to you whatever that attack may be and it only blocks one by the way so be careful with that the last one is the Dead Razor. It consumes a lot of your mana as well, but it raises a skeleton from the floor, which will pretty much tank and fight for you. It's not very strong anyway, it does take a lot of damage, but it's, well, it's enough, I guess. For armors, you have two armors in this update, which is the mage armor that has pretty much regen for the mana pool that you got. And we have the carapace armor, which is made by the Seekers and combined with the pelt of the Harder. For weapons we do have quite a bit of stuff, we have the Mist Walker which does frost and slash damage, the faint glow seemed to slice through the mist, no idea, I didn't think so. We have the Carapace Shield and the Black Tower Shield, well, not Black Tower, the Tower Shield, I'm sorry, so we can use that. We have a Spine Snap which is a bow, pretty cool, it does pierce with spirit damage. We have the Arbalest, which is pretty nice. It does take a huge time to reload, but it does it a little bit more uh, harder. And it does require some bolts, which is a pretty cool detail in general. We have the Yotun Bane, which is slash 18 and 14 poison. Pretty cool weapon as well. 
does a high level of poison i suspect this will be very good for the mislands for slashing through the entire biome we have a two-handed weapon called the chrome it does 150 of slash damage but the animation of the sword the two-handed sword seems to be pretty clean pretty good i enjoyed it a lot and we have the skull and hati two-handed i don't know if this gets uh, into the knife uh, category but it does have a cool animation and i do like the idea that they had here as far as new enemies we do have a seeker which if you kill will drop some seeker meat for the food and it will drop as well some carapace for the armor and the shield we do have a seeker soldier which is a little bit more tough which is kind of like the version of the goblin brute once killed drops the mandible the carapace and some seeker meat as well because it's still a seeker we also have the haru and it does drop hard meat and some scale hide very important to craft some armors and some shields we also got the seeker brood which is pretty much a younger version of the other seekers but this has an interesting drop which is called royal jelly which is another ingredient required for the food we also have the Dvarg, and as I call them the Dwarves, they are not specifically really like bad or enemies, but they are neutral and you kinda have to piss them off to progress in the game, so I might as well count them as enemies, right? We also got the Gjal, which is this big massive thing that you see right here. I wouldn't recommend to go against this guy, he is really tough, and he also kinda spawns ticks, which is the attack you just saw and they just are annoying as hell, he spits fire at you, it does an insane amount of damage. We got the tick which he jumps on you and gets stuck on you and the only way you, you kind of get rid of them is if you actually just like uh, jump so he can get off of you, it's pretty annoying, he sucks the blood out of you so I wouldn't recommend messing with the guy anyway. If you are enjoying the video please remember to hit that like and that subscribe, that definitely helps the channel, thank you so much. Once you are at the structure of the Mistlands boss, you'll have this huge door and a mysterious text which says we scattered, we sealed the door and scattered the key lever B, which is pretty cool because in general we spawn the bosses into the world and now we actually go inside of a world of a boss, which is pretty cool. Now with your seal breaker craft, you press open on the Dvorg vault and there will be a huge and cool animation of the wheels spinning around in order for you to open the door as soon as the door is open you can go in and enter the veil of the monster infested citadel so this is pretty much like an infested mine it's just much bigger and it's just going to be much harder for you to deal with because there will be everything spawning around you including the boss oh shit how do i spawn the boss you don't spawn the boss the bone is already here as you can see it's this little guy right he's really massive there we go the queen wants it all so he wants to fight you the attacks is this crushing which is pretty tough slabs you with the, the it's pretty much the same thing overall in general i think she doesn't have a special power i think she she's gonna only do that uh, the special powers actually are that she spawns another seekers not just the ones that are here but the seekers that are much much bigger than this so it's a pretty tough fight honestly if you're not equipped properly and strongly you're not gonna win and i would definitely say what the weakness is but i don't think she has one right now at least so far so it's pretty tough, it's, you're gonna struggle a bit. Long live the queen, she dies and as soon as she dies you can grab the trophy and you can grab the queen drop which is pretty much a placeholder because well, we're waiting for the next biome now. And because you are a viking you need to hang the trophy on the wall. The buff will be faster mining and increased mana regeneration so it's a pretty cool power if you're planning on using mana. As usual the video is over, thank you so much for watching and subscribe.